Greetings to all enthusiasts of physics and physical experiments. I am Andrei Shetnikov, your host. And recently, we have been producing large videos with explanations and details so frequently that there are times when I desire to create something brief and uncomplicated, and something that each and every individual is capable of doing with their own hands. Especially if these are school children, there is something to do during the summer holidays. The idea for such an experiment is a simple electric motor. All of the necessary items that he requires are currently situated on top of my desk. These items consist of a neodymium magnet, a coil comprising of 30 turns of copper wire with two soldered leads, a battery that will function as a power source, two connecting wires, and a stand for support. I position the magnet onto the stand. The wires leading to the battery are already connected. And now I carefully place a ring onto the holder positioned on the top. And as soon as I do, the magnet starts spinning rapidly, creating a mesmerizing visual effect. We witness a mesmerizing stroboscopic phenomenon. And the coil rotates at a frequency of 10 revolutions per second, creating a captivating visual display. The coil is moved by the ampere force on the electric current in the magnetic field. Power lines of the magnetic field are directed upwards, and the magnetic field near the magnet is much stronger than far away from it. Now the electric current flows in a ring clockwise. The ampere force is directed to the right, and the coil rotates counterclockwise. After half a turn, the electric current will flow counterclockwise along the ring. Now the force of the ampere is directed to the left, and it will apply braking to the coil. So overall, it will not rotate. How, how did we solve this problem? Yes, very simple. The lacquer on the leading contacts has been removed on one side, while on the other side it has been left. And we ended up with a kind of collector. The current flows through half a turn of the coil, but does not flow through the other half. And the ampere force pushes the coil only in one direction. And of course, such a collector is not very efficient. It would be better if he switched the direction of the current in the coil every half turn rather than turning it off. However, the engine is still running. The interesting thing about it is that you can build the entire engine, play around with it, observe the position at which the magnet causes the motor to accelerate, and see how changing the position affects the direction of rotation of the coil. This provides a hands-on experience and a deeper understanding of the engine's mechanics, making it a valuable learning tool. In general, ensure you have a good time and make the most of it for yourself. I appreciate your attention. Thank you very much. <laughs>